Hello everyone, this is uh, Shad Reis from CVI 22 in Denver, Colorado. I'm really a privilege to have my friend and colleague, uh, Michael Migueli, he's an interventional cardiologist, and he just finished a chip training at Henry Ford. Michael, always nice to see you. It's great to see you, Shady, and great to be here. Yeah. There's a lot of question on the fellow's mind right now, either general or interventional fellows. Should I do a chip here, yes or no? And what's the advantage of doing an extra year? So what's your advice for these people? Well, that's a great question. It was on my mind too when I was an interventional fellow and even before that as a general fellow. Uh, I, I was very lucky to do my fellowship in, in Minneapolis with Dr. Borelakis and uh, he's the one who opened my mind to that field and how great it is. And then I was lucky again to go work with Ashish Prashad and, and Dr. Prashad is, is an amazing person and a very, very skilled operator. And uh, I spent some time with him. I learned a lot from him. And at came point, came point where I said, well, shall I just go out and start building on my skills? Or shall I do a year where I am dedicated, focused, and uh, get the spiel of it for that year? And uh, I mean, I have a lot of passion for it. So I decided to go for it. And uh, I think overall, that's an individual decision. Uh, and I think this chip year, adds a lot to your skill set. Absolutely. And as you said, I just finished in Ford. I just started working at Willis Knighton in, in uh, Shreveport, Louisiana for now like eight days. <laughs> and I'd say during those eight days, I told myself how, how important and great that year was. I really appreciated okay. those eight years, uh, those eight days a lot more during the year itself. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Because yeah. it's what, it, what your exposure and the skill set, the wires, and um, it's fine tune your skills to be ready for the practice. Of course, of and, course. And there's always in the first two, three years, we're gonna still expose things you never exposed before in training. So you of cannot course. stop training, mm -hmm. uh, but definitely this extra year. So about CTO, uh, people worry about the job. Said, oh, I don't, there's no jobs and stuff like that. Is this should be a driver for going or not going for extra training? That's a great thing, and I think people do the same for structural, and I would always like tell people whatever I have passion for, I don't think I look at the market, I just, I just go do for it. it. Yeah. And before I went to the chip here, I really was not aware of how the market is or what will I do, what will I... I just exactly. felt that I really love it, and that's what I want to do, and there will always be a place exactly. for you to do what you want to do, yes. as long as you excel in it, yes. I think. Yeah. And also during your year, you were a very successful researcher as well. You wrote Thank paper you. as well. So how did you manage your time? And is it because the dedication, the drive, or you really have some block time? So it's, uh, that's great. First of all, that chip here is, is pretty good. So you have some time. You, most of your cases are CTOs. These are elective cases that you have time to plan for. But I'd say the main, the main reason is me working with Dr. Prolakis for some time. Yeah. You're gonna learn from him how to manage your time. He's always a driver for you to, you know, excel on both parts, clinical and, and research. And uh, I was in love with it. So I, you know, when you love something, you make time for it, Absolutely. right? Well, yeah, you make well, time. Michael, I mean, really, we're all proud of what you have done. Thank and you. You are Thank a role you. model for a lot of people. Thank you. I appreciate your time and your wise. Uh, Thank you. With your age is you are you're a young guy, but you have a lot of wisdom. <laughs> I appreciate your time appreciate and uh, appreciate for being with us. Yeah. Thank you. Please watch the video and others on CVI 22 uh, YouTube channel. This is Shadir Reyes from Denver. Michael, thanks again. Thank you. Yeah.